Hi, it's Dr. Manali. Today I'm going to be talking about um, is your heart rate high all the time? Now, a normal heart rate is considered between 60 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute. And uh, over 100 beats per minute, if your heart rate is staying that high all the time, even when you're doing nothing, um, then that's considered high. And if you some, for some people, under 60 beats per minute can be normal. But over 100 beats per minute, generally for most people, is considered abnormal. Now, what are the reasons that this could happen to you? Uh, if you're a younger person with no medical problems and you're not on any medications, then the next common reasons are usually going to be caffeine. So that would be like coffee, tea, or soda. And it's really worth checking your tea. Um, I've noticed with my patients, sometimes they have natural teas, which they think are uncaffeinated, but it turns out they do have caffeine in them. Um, and then the other thing to consider is that as you get older, you can become more sensitive to caffeine. So whereas like two years ago, you may have been able to drink a cup of coffee without any problems, now you may have become sensitive to it and it could be making your heart rate higher. The other common reasons are going to be um, anxiety, stress, dehydration, and nicotine. So that includes smoking or vaping. Um, those can make your heart rate high. Now I know what you're thinking. I did a video last week about how having a high heart rate can help you burn fat. So will this help you burn fat too? And um, if your heart rate is high all the time, it would help you burn fat, but generally it's not good for your heart. Um, if your heart rate is staying high all the time, it would put more pressure on your heart long term and it can make your heart muscle weak long term. So having a high heart rate all the time is not a good thing, even though it could help you burn more fat. So what can you do about it? Now, the first thing is gonna be um, caffeine and nicotine. You can try cutting back on both, even if you don't use them that often. Um, some people, especially as you get older, can become very, and even if you're not that old, um, even a few years older can make a difference, um, where you can become more sensitive to the point where it is affecting your heart rate. And the thing to consider is like, when you do cut back on caffeine and nicotine, um, and you should definitely not smoke, because that's always bad for you, um, but when you do cut back on caffeine and nicotine, your body can have withdrawal symptoms, even though you may not personally feel like you're having withdrawal symptoms your body can still have withdrawal symptoms and that can make your heart rate high as well so I would give it one to two months after stopping caffeine and nicotine to see if it's actually helping your heart rate or not now the next thing is dehydration um, it's worth checking out you know if you drink a lot of bottled water if your bottled water has electrolytes in it or not because sometimes that can affect your hydration status and that can affect your heart rate um, a lot of natural purified waters actually have the electrolytes taken out I think for taste reasons um, but sometimes that can make a difference in your hydration so it's worth trying a bottled water with electrolytes to see if that makes a difference and tap water usually does have electrolytes in it so if you're drinking tap water then that's probably fine and then the last thing is anxiety and stress. Now that's more of a long-term issue. If you have anxiety or stress, which I think most of us do at some point, um, that's more of a long-term issue as far as treatment, um, you know, and it's a lot harder to, with therapy and meditation and exercise. Um, but over time, it should improve and that should improve your heart rate as well. And the last question is, uh, what if you don't have any of these problems or you're not sure? In that case, um, you, know, you should definitely go check it out with a cardiologist. Now, if you have any symptoms at all, like chest pain or shortness of breath or dizziness, you should definitely go to the emergency room right away. But even if you're not having any symptoms and you just notice on your heart rate monitor that your heart rate is staying high all the time, now not when you're exercising, but just when you're normally not doing anything, if your heart rate is staying high all the time over 100 beats per minute, it is worth checking out with a cardiologist um, to find out if it's something normal or abnormal. Because like I mentioned, um, there can be other side effects, like it can put stress on your heart long term and make your heart muscle weak. So it is worth finding out with a cardiologist if something is going on or not. Now, that's all for today. Um, I'd love to hear what your experiences are with um, going caffeine-free. Personally, I went caffeine-free years ago to see if it would help me sleep better, and I didn't really notice any differences. But I'd love to hear what other people's experiences are with going caffeine-free. Let us know in the comments. And for more science-backed health and nutrition tips, you can follow me on Instagram, Healthy with Dr. Manali. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Manali Desai, or follow me on Twitter, Dr. Manali Desai. I'll see you next time.